What is going on, y'all? I know I've not made a video in a while, and I apologize for that. I've just been hella busy lately, but uh, that's besides the point. Uh, today, I wanted to show you guys this really dope library that I found. It's called RE Shake. It basically gives shaking to anything you surround its parameters with. And uh, this is sort of what it looks like. I can like you do a shake vertically, crazy shake, a little less crazy shake, and just a stupid crazy shake. Now, if you're wondering how we made this beautiful nav bar right here with React routing and everything, uh, there should be a card that there should be a card that should pop up any second now. And if you're also wondering how we made these boxes, there's also a video tutorial on that as well. So, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, so just a quick prerequisite before we do begin: uh, make sure you have a React app made. If you don't, just go ahead and make one and start it up. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a new terminal. And there's a link in the description below that'll take you to the documentation for reshake right here. This is the library that I was talking about earlier. And there's this first snippet of code right here. Just go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to paste it into my terminal and let that work its magic. All right, so it's done installing now. And I'm going to go back to the documentation. And I'm just going to quickly run over the stuff that's here. Uh, right here, you can see this is uh, a place where you can make your custom shakes if you want. And uh, you can add like zero horizontal, but you can make it uh, shake vertically to its maximum. Maximum. And um, if you scroll a little bit lower, you'll see right here you have some more examples of shakes you can do. You have some that are vertical, horizontal. You have some very little shakes. Um, I really like this one. This is really useful for like if you have any bell icons and you have like a notification. You just add this real quick animation. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna make uh, one with a custom shake and we'll just use three pre-made shakes all right so now we got to do the most important thing and we got to add some images for our boxes so we have our boxes right here but they're pretty plain um, in your case if you made a new react app you wouldn't see anything um, which is no problem at all so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create an image tag and i'll give it a source i'll just leave it empty for now and i'll give it a width of 200 pixels and I'll just copy this bad boy and I'll paste it in the other four. And I'm going to use ESLint to make it cleaner on save. And so I have a couple of images that I put in the description below. You can just go ahead and copy uh, those link tags and uh, the source tag, the, the URL, and just uh, paste it into here where the source is. And oops, this one needs an HTTPS, not an H. Not a TTPS, that makes no sense. I'm gonna copy the second one. I think this one is the magic eight ball. This one is a image of a shook cat. And this next one is also an image of a shook cat. And I'm gonna minimize this terminal, we don't need that anymore. So let's go back into our app and let's see what it looks like. Beautiful. Just beautiful. This is art. All right, let's add some shakiness to our images. I think these two are pretty calm shakes. This one is a moderate shake, and this one is an extreme shake. So let's go back into, I don't know, let's actually go into our documentation, and I'll copy the first one. So we'll just go with shake little, and go back into our app. So our first one was the, the maracas, and I'm going to surround this entire thing inside of that tag right here, the shake little tag. So shake little, was it capital S, uh, capital L? Okay, well shake little, okay, and let's also import it. So it'll be import shake little from reshake. And I'll just surround this entire div with it. Let's make sure that it works. Oh, cool, okay, so we got a little bit of a shake going. Um, you might see an error that says like style components is not defined or is not in node modules or anything. If you do, just go ahead and there's an NPM package called style components. Uh, you can install it from this link right here. It's in the description below. Just go ahead and click this, install it, and uh, your error should be gone after you restart your application. Uh, so the next one, let's see, what should this one? Okay, this one should be a little bit more shake not shake hard this one should be shake horizontal let's go with that one i've never actually even used one of these before so i have no idea 
shake horizontal. And you see it automatically imported there. Okay, let's see it now. Makes sense. Okay. This one, it looks like the cat is being shaked up and down. So let's go and get a vertical one. That one looks pretty good. And I'll just surround box number three with it. So shake uh, vertical. Yep, there we go. And so now if we try it out, it should. Oh, did I save it? Okay, let's try it out now. Now, okay, that didn't work. Vertical. Shake vertical, yeah. I, mm, strange, very strange. Why is it not working? Why are you not working? Let's go back to the documentation. Let's just copy exactly what it says right here. Maybe I imported it wrong? I'm not sure. Let's see. A space? No, that makes no sense. This is weird. Hmm. Big vertical, yeah, it's right there. Strange, very, very strange. Let's try, um, so, okay, I guess let's make a custom shake one. I will make two custom shakes. Strange why that's not working. Um, so yeah, we want to do a vertical shake just like that. There we go. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of this stuff up until this end of the tag right there. Actually, yep, that's fine. Let's go back into our code editor and I'll just Paste it right there. Oh, that's not good. Okay, let's just paste it in one of them. There we go. And let's do just shake right here. Okay, I hope this works. Shake is not defined. Let's define it. So I'll get rid of the vertical right here. I think that should work. Hopefully it works. That does not work. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is not good. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm missing something big. Oops. Okay, well I guess let's worry about that later. Um let's copy this tag. And let's put it right down here. And the closing brace, and let's put it right below it right there. Let's make sure that this okay, so that that is okay now it works. What? You just why well, you gotta be like this computer program? So React is weird, man. It's really weird. Okay, cool. So now we got some shakes happening. Uh, yeah, this one this makes sense. This makes sense. So we got a small shake. We got a horizontal shake. We got a crazy shake and another crazy shake. Nice. All right, cool. So I hope you all enjoy that. You know what? Hold on. Let's make uh let's let's. Let's shake our nav bar. Let's just shake our nav bar as crazy as possible. Where is it? Nav bar. Okay. I'm going to import. Uh, I think it was crazy shake. Uh, let's go back. Shake hard. Okay. There it is. Okay. Import shake hard from reshake. Okay. And I'm going to just surround this with that. No, 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 no. Shake. Come ah, on. Shake hard. And let's put this at the very bottom right here. I don't know if this will actually work or not. If it does, that's great. If it doesn't, whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> you can shake whatever you want. It doesn't matter. You can go crazy. Cool. Now I hope you all enjoyed that. That was a good finishing touch to this tutorial. Um, if you all enjoyed this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.